Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lomaster here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys We're gonna be going over the official announced contents within the CC5 or player's choice crate That's right guys So I just got news of this and I'm trying to put this video out as soon as I can so that I can get you guys Updated on what items are gonna be in this crate and also just give you a few little opinions of mine on it And we can also discuss it down below in the comments But anyways guys, it's not gonna be the longest video. So if you do enjoy this one be sure to leave a like down below and without further ado let's get into it here all right guys so for some reason you didn't catch what the c5 crate is basically what psionix did is they held a vote for about a week on the items that would be in the crate now all of the items that you could vote on were previous items from other crates from c1 all the way through c4 and you could vote on a bunch of them being included in this next one so of course then the things that you were able to vote on were the very rare decals, the import cars, and the exotic wheels. And today they just announced the winners and they're honestly kind of weird. Some of them I expected and some of them were just completely out of the blue for me. But either way, let's just start it off going from the least interesting all the way up to the most interesting. So getting straight into it with the very rare decals, this was one of the weird ones. Because for all four of the cars, the Takumi RXT, the Octane ZSR, the Dominus GT, and the Breakout Type S, the very rare decals that you can get for these are all distortion yeah i personally did not vote for distortion it's not one of my favorites so this one really caught me by surprise but apparently a lot of people like it and you know i'm fine with it it's not like i ever really use very rare decals and i don't think really anybody does but i would have liked to maybe have the snake skin on a couple of these import cars i thought that would have been really cool but anyway speaking of import cars and we're gonna have to talk about this too because just the concept of bringing all these import cars back was kind of weird since we don't really have that many and we actually Actually get three of them here and they are the octane zsr which was no surprise actually none of these are really a surprise because the second car is then the dominus gt um yeah of course i mean it's got to be the dominus gt and then the third one was the breakout type s so again no surprise there at all those were the ones i voted for and they were just easily the most popular the coolest ones and considering there was only i believe five including the roadhog xl and then the x devil mark ii i don't think there's another one but these three are definitely the most popular by far and this was not a surprise but yeah before we get into the exotics here i just want to bring up one thing how in the world are these going to work in trade-ups like if you happen to open a c4 and get the octane zsr and then you get another zsr from then the c5 crate are you able to combine those together but even then which item does it give you one from the c5 or one from the c4 and then on top of that is there going to be a way to tell the difference how would you ever really know if one is from each of the crates um so yeah there's a lot of stuff that i'm personally curious about here and i don't really know how it's going to work out but i guess we're just going to have to wait and see for this one now speaking of surprises or really the lack of oh gosh the exotic wheels are the lightning and the zamba this one i mean for some of you you're probably super excited but for a lot of us this kind of sucks and i know why a lot of people voted for these but it just kind of it doesn't make sense to me i'm sorry i don't get why you would vote for lightning or zombas because there really isn't a great situation that could come from this like what i mean by that is there's basically two things that make zombas and lightnings the coolest wheels out there and the first of which is the rarity now the rarity isn't like they're more rare than other wheels in fact they're exactly rare as every other exotic wheels because they have have the same exact chance of dropping as every other exotic wheel and also adding on to this even more because they are more cool because they are so sought after a lot more people are going to collect them instead of trading them up to other items so with that being said they're going to keep those in their collection and since there's less of these wheels on the market they suddenly become even more rare now the other thing that makes these wheels so popular is simply because they are the coolest wheels i mean lightnings just look so freaking sick and then zombas are just so clean honestly the zombas are my favorite wheels personally so that's again why they are so sought after now by voting for these items and i'm just being completely honest here you're taking away one of the very main things that makes these wheels so cool and that is the rare Rarity. suddenly they're a lot more common and because they're more common they're just not as cool anymore so that's just what I think is gonna happen there's a good chance that the expensive tier items still could stay rare again because people are just going to collect them but either way there was really no good choice for the exotic wheels so I knew we had to pick something here and I just knew it was gonna be lightning and zombas so yeah there's nothing we can do now so I guess we have to look at the positive here and you know I guess it is gonna be cool having a better chance at these items especially for the unboxing that I'm gonna do I am super excited for those as always like seriously guys I bought a 
ton of keys in preparation for this. I made sure to buy 40 right now so that I'm prepared for these openings as soon as I can be. And also speaking of these openings, I talked about it a little bit in my previous C4 opening that I posted yesterday. But if you would like to get your name featured in the unboxing, all you have to do is after the update when you get a C5 crate, just message me at this gamer tag right here. And if you donate me a crate, I will put your name in that unboxing video. So yeah, be sure to hit me up. I'm not looking for other crates at the moment, so wait until that update and if you get a crate, I will definitely put you in the video. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to trying to get some painted Zombas here and also some mystery decals, which again, I'm not 100% sure about, but I'm pretty sure it would be all six of them. So Heatwave, Parallax, Labyrinth, Slipstream, Biomass, and Hexed all in one crate. So we're definitely going to have to go for those as well. But other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. There's not a whole lot to talk about, but I would like to hear your guys' opinion on these items down below in the comments. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the Llamaser, and I will see you guys next time.